I've recently wondered which one of the four main mathematical operators performs better on my system. I knew that it is a vague question which required low-level explanation, but I decided to take the challenge anyways to see if we could possibly get any tangible results. So I started off by researching how to accurately time a program in Windows, because it will become an essential part of calculating the operator performance. Then I found out that we can use the measure command, which is a PowerShell utility that gets us the time measurements from the executed program. To demonstrate how it works, let's look at a very simple example. Let's try to time the execution time of the echo command, more specifically echo random generator command. To test it, all we have to do is type measure command and pass the dash expression parameter, since we want to time that specific expression. Then inside the expression parameter, we give our echo command, then we execute it. As you can see, it returns us the time measurements in different formats. For precision wise, I will be focusing on ticks because they are the smallest time unit that can be recognized by our computers. Also at that point, I want to make sure that there is no confusion about the ticks and cycles. Although sometimes they are used interchangeably, the ticks are different from the CPU cycles. CPU cycles are directly correlated with the CPU speed itself, but ticks are correlated with the operating system. For example, a 4 GHz CPU is able to produce 4 billion cycles per second. But example for the ticks, in Windows, 10,000 ticks correspond to a single millisecond, which means there are 10 million ticks per second. But it could be 1 million ticks for a Linux distro, it can be variable. Moving on, let's look at how we can define our operations. In this case, we will be using PowerShell script language because we may get more accurate results and additional performance. However, I am not sure that if it's true when compared to using other languages such as C++ or Python. If any of you guys know more about that, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. Nevertheless, by using this approach, we will get some results, so it is probably okay to use it. Now, we can create our test environment. To create it, we can use Python because it is really easy to parse and report results. We also don't worry about performance because it won't matter anyways, we just use it for reporting. So as you can see, this is the code snippet that we will be using. First we define our operating system and regular expression modules. Then we define two empty arrays. After that, we initialize operator commands array which holds the necessary commands. As you can see, each command corresponds to single operation. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division respectively. After that, we simply iterate over operator commands on certain amount of times. On each iteration, we execute the command and fetch the result. Then we parse it to get the amount of ticks. I personally use regex for parsing, but you can use other alternatives as well. Then we finally calculate the average tick amount and append it to our averages array. This approach works, but I know that it is super shitty code and runs at O n squared time complexity. But anyways. Now we can proceed to testing. For testing, I will be using four different setups to compare, and those are float operation measurements with 100 iteration average and 1000 iteration average, and integer operation measurements with 100 and 1000 iteration averages. Now we can look up the individual test results. As you can see, these are the final results. And to be honest, these are kinda surprising. I finally expected addition operation to perform the best, but it turns out that it performed the worst. However, subtraction performed the best, which is not that surprising actually. On the multiplication and division side, it could be understandable, but at the floating point operations, I expect division to perform the worst. So this seems interesting as well. And this is our final performance ranking. Obviously my testing method is far from the best, but even at that, those are interesting outcomes. Who knows, maybe some of you will attempt in much more detailed approaches which I would glad to hear. Until then, I hope you find this somewhat useful or interesting, and if that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing to see more content like this. See you next time, take care.